Hope you're doing well. Um, this is kind of my first vlog. Um, <laughs> okay, again, this is kind of my first vlog. I hope it will be. I'm not pretty sure, but the past weeks I started vlogging actually. And the funny thing is, yesterday I started to edit the vlog and then I realized I don't have an intro or nothing. I've just started to do my makeup without telling you guys anything about the video so i thought maybe why not starting just a random monthly vlog now i'm out of breath this is not easy to talk what i did the past weeks or what i showed you guys was i did my makeup just my everyday makeup what i do during quarantine and I thought maybe YouTube will be the place to show you what I really do and how my daily life looks like, what I do for Instagram, maybe like a behind the scenes, something like that. I actually filmed that we had a behind the scenes of our photo shootings, what we usually do for Instagram because it's not always easy to find a place to find the good lightning but we sort of have our special places where i know that the background and the light is perfect and also the photo was very very good so we had the best lightning i will show you this right now so i'm gonna do my makeup it's just something i do when i'm at home but still have some video calls or when i just like have to go out to do grocery shopping so let's get started on a daily basis i don't like to use foundation i'm just using my concealer all over my face and on the spots i really need a bit more coverage love me when I love me Oh, I need someone to love me. 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 Okay, guys, my battery died. The only thing I did was applying a bit more mascara and a lip liner, as you can see. This is my makeup. I like it. So, as my hair is pretty dirty, I'm gonna apply some dry shampoo to the roots. And then I'm just brushing them through. I'm always first brushing the upper part like that. Okay, and then I'm going in with my hands. And it also gives you some volume. And I'm always using a wooden brush for that. So that's it. This is all I'm gonna do to my hair. Happy Saturday. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this cute top by H&M. And this pants by Zara. I'm wearing them. And I'm wearing them with my boots and we're going to shoot because the sun is out as you can see we're doing an outfit of the day shoot and i'm bringing you with me let's go
what is going on today today it's gonna be a pretty normal kind of saturday shall i show you the weather because it's not very convenient do you see i mean this is not cool so what we're gonna do today is going out a little bit i know it's pretty cold and i'm wearing a dress I don't know, maybe I will change because it's actually pretty, pretty cold outside. And then we're going to drink a coffee or see my sisters-in-law. Let's see what we're going to do. What are we going to do today? As you can see guys, it's so full today because of Black Week. So we're gonna just chill here a little bit, drink a coffee and then we're going to my sister-in-law's place to see also our families on the weekend because just during the week there's no option to see them, right? Because we were so much stressed because of work. So we're gonna go there today. questions which are hair related so it doesn't matter if you want to know my current hair routine or what I use back then to just get rid of all the hair loss hair breakage and the fruits hello so I just asked you on Instagram to ask me questions <laughs> and it's crazy guys see there are already so many messages. It's insane. I just asked the question a few few minutes ago. Insane, guys. I'm so sorry for you, really. If I read your messages, guys, about that topic, about your problems, about the hair issues, just everything, I know how that intimidates you. I know how you just like feel so bad because I also used to have a lot of hair and then suddenly because of all the things I did to my hair I lost everything or almost everything I felt like it was everything the upcoming days when I have a free time I will talk to you guys about that topic and I think this is really important let's see if it will be helpful or not I don't know yet but I hope so so back to work it's waiting for me here today we're gonna talk about hair so a few weeks ago I posted this picture on Instagram showing you my damaged and blonde hair and so many of you guys ask me Dilek, what did you do to just get back to your healthy hair because my hair was completely damaged guys so I bleached my hair twice in the first period it was completely okay but then after some weeks it really started to get shorter and shorter and shorter and I just didn't know what to do so what I did, um, so I asked you to tell me your issues about hair and I'm just going to talk about my experience and I just categorized them because there were just so many questions but the main topics were the same actually. So the first thing is shampoo and conditioner and related to that I will also talk about oily hair. So what I use, let me show you that. So I'm in the bathroom now and these are the shampoo and conditioner I'm currently using. It's the Kalia Hydrating 
conditioner and shampoo i use it now for i think two or three months and i'm so happy with it because it's vegan there's no animal testing no sulfates no perfume no silicones just nothing it's very natural and the scent is just amazing i love it guys mm. you can just smell out the lavender it's amazing and before that i used the Dessence shampoo i think i don't have it anymore oh yeah i have it here Wow, <laughs> I used this one before, I bought it at the drugstore but now it's not available anymore but I think you can still get it at Amazon, just check it out. I used this really for 5 years straight after bleaching my hair and I loved it really. But I really want to change to products which are completely natural so that's why I using the Kalia line right now and I love it really it's the best for my hair <laughs> the important thing is here not to only use good products but also to decide when to wash your hair because I would recommend to really extend your washings as much as possible I know it's not easy but imagine a hair which is washed every day your scalp produces natural oils by itself and then you rub everything out and then you just destroy this natural flow of your scalp and your hair so just try to not wash your hair every day i wash my hair twice or sometimes three times a week sometimes i also use dry shampoos just try out guys second big topic is hair breakage hair loss hair growth so this was also an issue I had because my hair was getting shorter and shorter. I didn't know what was happening. The issue that my ends are, were so damaged that they were breaking a lot. And it just seemed like my hair was not growing, but actually it was. <laughs> and I had a lot of hair loss. Also, you guys always tell me that you have a lot of hair loss. I would recommend you to check the following. Just collect your hair for one week straight everywhere on the pillow on the floor when you do your hair or just on the couch everywhere you can find just collect them and then count all the hairs after these seven days and then divide it by seven so then you get a number and this number should not be more than 30 if you lose less than 30 hairs per day this is pretty normal but if it's more than 30 then i would definitely mm -hmm. go to a doctor because then there is just another issue Another thing which helped me a lot, I'm using this now for several years, is a wooden brush. This one is by the drugstore, it was super inexpensive, sorry all the hairs. <laughs> it's by this brand, you probably know it, it's not focusing, hello. What this does you to your hair is when you comb your hair, it just distributes the oils from your scalp to your ends. And it just gives you a, like a scalp massage when you use it. I always brush my hair before going to bed because I don't just don't want all the knots and everything in the morning. Second thing which helped me a lot, which was actually my husband's idea, is quit the heat. Or just try to reduce it because I used to style my hair, iron my hair or straighten my hair almost every day. For example, today I didn't use any, any heat on my hair. I will show you what I did. Try to just braid your hair. This is what I did for a month, guys. I braided my hair when it was wet and I went to bed and the next morning I had just very cute waves. And now what I'm doing currently is the bathrobe belt method. I don't know if you had heard about it or not. So what you do, you put a bathrobe belt on your head and then you twist around your hair. I have tons of tutorials on Instagram, you need to check it out. And the next morning you wake up, you remove the bathrobe belt, you just go over your hair with your hands first and then you go with a wooden brush over the ends to just make them more natural. But usually it will look better after a few hours. And then you have it guys, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. So the third category is dandruff, 
dry scalp and frizz sorry guys when i'm looking always down but i have here my notes <laughs> and um i have to be honest with you guys luckily i never had dandruff or dry scalp or something like that but my husband is always especially in the winter time dealing with that issue but i also heard from my doctor that dandruff can have several reasons so if you don't know what it is exactly, if you have it for a longer term, I would definitely advise you to go to the doctor to check it because it can be just something completely different than only having a dry scalp. But what really, really helps a lot, not only with dandruff or dry scalp, but also with oily hair, with frizzy hair, are hair oils. They just help to nourish, to condition your hair, your scalp. And there are really several oils on the market. Just check out which works for you. I would definitely choose hair oils which are organic, which are unrefined and cold pressed. This is pretty, pretty important if you want to get good results. My favorite hair oils are avocado oil, argan oil, it's amazing, rosemary oil. It just stimulates your hair. It's promotes healthy hair growth it's amazing and what I usually do is I have my like hair oil which I mix together my favorite oils and then I apply really a tiny tiny bit to my scalp this is pretty important if you're using hair oils you need to be careful guys just apply a little bit because a little goes a long way this is what I do once a week before washing my hair I apply it to my scalp I massage it in what I do I also use a little bit of hair oil on my length and ends of my hair and then I braid my hair and I leave it in at least for 30 minutes before washing my hair and after washing my hair i also like to do apple cider vinegar rinses i want a really really good hair day afterwards i just use apple cider vinegar rinse the day before and my hair will be so shiny so amazing so what you do you can just put a little bit of apple cider vinegar into a bottle it really depends on the hair length if you have short hair you need to use less apple cider vinegar and then you fill it up with your shower water and then you put your hair like the ends into into the bottle and wait for a few seconds or a few minutes and then you just rinse over your hair that's it guys you can also rinse your hair afterwards with water it's completely up to you but let me tell you one thing in the first few seconds it, it can be a bit smelly but that will really fade away after a few minutes another big topic which is cutting the ends trimming your hair regularly is so 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 important i trim my hair now regularly every two to three months that really helps to get rid of all the split ends and which will just break your hair if you don't get rid of them your hair will break much 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 more i give myself also in between regular trims if i'm bored i just check for dead ends or split ends and then just cut them with a scissor like that <laughs> and after you wash your hair i really recommend to use a cotton shirt like that instead of a towel guys because a usual towel is just a bit too harsh to your wet hair just use something like that this is a tip I love. And another thing I got asked was if I use any vitamins or pills to promote my hair growth. I never use that, but it can be maybe helpful. Just try to really follow a healthy, healthy diet, guys, because this is key. If you want healthy hair, you just also have to nourish it from the inside so drink a lot of green smoothies or eat a lot of bowls with quinoa chickpeas lentil these are just very very good stuff guys and another question i got asked because i'm 28 i will be 30 in a few years but my hair started to get gray really really early guys i think i was maybe 16 17 because that's just genetics you know and i have let me show you that maybe i don't know if you can tell i mean right now it does not bother me a lot but i know in a few years if it's just too much i think i would dye my hair because i don't know any 
natural things you can do for gray hairs if you know just let me know in the comments below and we can help each other maybe i think that's it guys these were all my recommendations for you or what i did to really really get back to my healthy hair and one of the most important thing here is guys patience you need a lot of time to get back to your healthy hair you just need to figure out for yourself what is helpful what is not that helpful and this just can take a lot of time but these were just my topics which is maybe a guide for you to start your healthy hair journey and i hope this was helpful and this was it guys hope you liked the vlog let me know in the comments if you like it then i will just keep on doing it bye go babe uh-huh yeah go yeah yeah Go.